Uh, 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 hold it, hold it. What, what, what's going on here? I'm pregnant. You, you what? Yeah. We're in the middle of a thing here. Well, you didn't return any of my texts. So, what, what, so what's going on? You, you, you want like a, a ride to the place? Peter, what's going on? What's going on, Lois, is that this girl is obviously not well. And I have just learned that she's been stealing from the show and she should probably be escorted out of the building. Yeah, nah, family guy! Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Irashaimase! Hajimemashite! Here comes a black guy! Peter, what's wrong? It's, uh, nothing. I'm just gonna wait a minute. There's teenagers in skinny jeans out there. What do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. So in addition to buying 200,000 lottery tickets, you had 400,000 fake ones printed up? I had to be sure. Ah! It's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface! Ah! I sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check. It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. Yeah, money! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. Gee, I, I, I don't... Uh... Peter, I've taken the liberty of mocking up some sales projections. Wow, that's pretty good. And this would be our net profits. Yikes. Okay, Quagmire, I want you to take the first bite out of this fudge pop, because that first bite is the one that really hurts. Well, okay. Mm. Ah! Mm. Ah! Ow! Ow! Yeah, that's right, Ow. Now you swallow that. Don't you dare spit that out. What's the difference? You got what you wanted? I said swallow it! <laughs> now smear what's left of it on your face and look at me with your mouth open. Look at yourself, you filthy whore. Ugh. I don't even want this now. <laughs> Oh my God, what the hell are you wearing? It's a solid gold tuxedo, Lois. I had to fight three rappers down at the nonsense store for this. Look, Peter, this is not who we are. I'm worried the money is changing this family and not the way you hoped. Well, I was hoping it would make you shut up, so you're right. You know, I spoke to Bonnie this morning and she said you haven't talked to Joe or Quagmire in two weeks. Who cares? I don't need Quagmire. And I certainly don't need Joe. I got money, Joe. <laughs> That's a good one, money, Joe. <laughs> 